Hello and welcome to History Pod. On the 9th of January 1861, American ship the Star of the West was fired upon by South Carolina batteries as it sailed to relieve the Federal garrison at Fort Sumter. South Carolina was the first state to secede from the Union on the 20th of December 1860, but in the weeks that followed, President James Buchanan refused to withdraw the garrison from Fort Sumter that protected the harbour at Charleston. Meanwhile, the fort's 80 soldiers under the command of Major Robert Anderson were beginning to run short of supplies, and a solution to their situation had to be found. Keen to avoid any action that might provoke violence, the government decided to relieve the fort using a civilian ship. They chartered the two-decked, side-wheeled, schooner-rigged merchant ship Star of the West that departed New York on the 5th of January, with soldiers and supplies placed below decks under cover of darkness. Shortly after the ship left port, President Buchanan's Secretary of War, Joseph Holt, received news from Major Anderson that Fort Sumter could survive for the foreseeable future. He also warned the government that the South Carolinians had built gun emplacements overlooking the entrance to Charleston Harbour, which placed the recently dispatched ship in danger. Attempts to alert Captain John McGowan on board the Star of the West and abandon the voyage failed, while newspaper reports of the ship's mission were confirmed by officials. Consequently, by the time she arrived at Charleston, the secessionists were waiting. As Star of the West approached Fort Sumter on the morning of the 9th of January, it was met with cannon shots from Cadet George E. Hainsworth on nearby Morris Island. The ship suffered minor damage and was forced to return to New York. Meanwhile, tensions remained high at Fort Sumter over the next three months, when it became the location for the opening battle of the American Civil War.